Hello coffee lovers, welcome back. It's me again with my iced coffee recipes. Today I am going to make iced coffee recipes using a mocha pot. Now for some, this might be a culture shock. Why would I make iced coffee using a mocha pot? Most of the people would use mocha pot to make hot espresso drinks. In a previous video, I showed you how to make iced coffee drinks using an espresso machine. And I did promise that I would show you another version using espresso from a mocha pot. So this is the video to watch. Few factors to consider when making an espresso using a mocha pot. Number one is the size of your mocha pot. This come in four cups, two cups, three cups. I have here a four cup mocha express and a two cup brica. Now when they say cups, it doesn't mean this cup, but it actually means this cup. Italian, they measure everything in espresso shots for their coffee. One espresso shot is about 30 ml. The second thing that you have to consider is your coffee. So use any blend that you like. For me personally, I prefer to use medium to dark roast for iced coffee. The third thing that you have to consider is the grind of the coffee. Now for mocha pot, what we need is medium to fine grind. Not exactly espresso grind, but a little bit coarser. Finally, you have to consider the amount of water that you put in the mocha pot. There is a valve here which is usually the gauge on how much water you need to put in your boiler. The way I make my ice drinks is that I don't really depend on how much water I need to put in here, but how much espresso shots I would like to get out of the brew. So if I'm going to make four ounces or four shots of espresso, I am going to put five ounces of water. I am allowing for the liquid that will be absorbed by the coffee. So for those of you that are used to mocha pots, my method might be slightly different. But then again, not many of you might have been using it for iced coffee. So here is what I'm going to do. For the drinks that will require two shots, I am going to use this mocha pot, which is four cups. I'm going to put three ounces of water into the boiler and put my coffee. Now, the other thing that I do as well is because I am, I don't leave anything to chance, I always measure things. What I will do is to use 15 grams of ground coffee for each of the brew. So I am going to measure each time, 15 grams of coffee to make it slightly similar to brewing your espresso shots using the espresso machine, which is about 14 to 18 grams of coffee. So 15 grams of coffee, three ounces of water into the boiler, and I should come up with two ounces of espresso. We are going to put that to test. The other thing is for my four shots of espresso, I am going to use the same mocha pot, and this time I'm going to use five ounces of water into the boiler, and then use the same amount of coffee and pull four ounces of espresso. So five ounces of water and I should come up with four ounces of espresso. Once again, we are going to put that to a test later. Now, because I have to make five different brew, I'm going to show you only two of them. One is when I pull two shots espresso and the other is when I pull four shots espresso. Before we continue, a shout out to one of my viewers who left me a comment and I was really, really warmed by it. After watching my video on cold brew coffee, she sent a message saying, me at 4 a.m. making ice cold brew mocha. And I think she is from a cold country. There you go. If you haven't yet tried ice coffee, it's time that you give it a try. Let's make our first two shots of espresso. This is a mocha pot and it comes in three parts. So you have the boiler, this is the boiler, and this is the basket where you put the coffee, and this is the pot where the coffee will come out of. Three ounces of hot water into the boiler. It's better to use hot water so the process will be faster and your coffee will not turn bitter. Measure 15 grams of coffee beans. We measure so that the taste will be consistent. Put the coffee beans in the grinder and I use the funnel here so that I don't make a mess of the whole process. Make sure you level it, shake it a little bit and level. Take off whatever excess there is. Put the basket in the boiler and because the boiler is warm, use a cloth to hold the boiler and lock the pot firmly on. Two 
turn on the heat and we're ready to boil our coffee. After a few minutes, our coffee will come out of the funnel. Lower the heat and you might wish to close the lid, otherwise it might just sputter all over the place. When do you know when to stop? You will hear the boiling will stop and that's when you should turn off the heat. Here is our finished brewed coffee. It's time to test how much did we actually make. I'm looking for two ounces. See if we make that two ounces. And there you are, exactly two ounces of espresso. The next one is for my four shots of espresso, five ounces of hot water, 15 grams of coffee beans. Once again, use a cloth to hold the boiler, turn on the heat, lock the pot on, and bring the mocha pot to a boil. Once again, there's your coffee. Stop when you hear the boiling actually stops and we are going to test how much brewed coffee we come up with. We are looking for 4 ounces or 120 ml of brewed coffee. And it is exactly 4 ounces. Perfect. Well, let's start making our drinks. First up, iced Americano. This time, I'm going to change the presentation a little bit. Coffee at the bottom, water, and then my golden sugar syrup on top to give you that ombre effect. We'll start by putting the coffee at the bottom, two ounces of espresso, four ounces of plain water, and top it up with the optional golden sugar syrup. This is homemade, and you get that ombre effect. This is your iced Americano. Next up, iced espresso. So this is going to be a strong coffee, four shots of espresso, and just a little bit of milk. For this, we are going to use four ounces of espresso, and top it up with two ounces of our milk syrup. Next drink, iced vanilla latte. For this, 1.5 ounce of milk syrup, two ounces of fresh milk, half an ounce of vanilla syrup. Shake it a little bit, add the two ounces of espresso on top, and there is your vanilla latte. Next, which is also now becoming my favorite, brown sugar latte. Here we start with the espresso, 1.5 ounce of milk syrup, 2 ounces of fresh milk, top it up with our homemade brown sugar syrup. And finally, because this is the month of love, I am making a new flavor black forest latte. I need strawberry puree, homemade, chocolate syrup, homemade, milk syrup, fresh milk, and my mocha pot espresso shots. The way that I'm going to do it is to make it three layers. I'll put my strawberry at the bottom, the heaviest one first. This is for those that have a milk tea or a cafe. This is how you can present it. And then my milk syrup. Give it a bit of a stare just to get that red color at the bottom and then I'm going to put some ice, not all. Okay, put some ice there, give it another stare. It's a little bit complicated. Well, if you want to make some art, there you go. I put the rest of my ice. Fresh milk. This will make sure that I've got that layer there. Just shake the ice a little bit. Now it's time to pour my espresso shots. And then the icing on the cake, we are going to put our milk foam. chocolate sauce on top. A 
And there you go, Black Forest Latte, the messier the better. Icing on the cake, cherry on top. Happy Valentine's Day from me to you. So I'm going to start with my flavor of the month, Black Forest Latte. So why is it Black Forest? Because I have combined strawberry with chocolate and of course the delicious espresso. Moment of truth. Mmm, the espresso is quite strong. For iced coffee, you can hardly tell the difference between espresso from an expensive espresso machine and a mocha pot. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Cheers. Delicious. The coffee is really, really strong. You can absolutely make very, very delicious espresso coffee using a mocha pot. Brown sugar latte. Delicious. The only way to know is for you to try. Next, iced espresso. This is where we use four shots of espresso and just our half and half or 50% milk syrup. Strong coffee with just a little bit of milk. Wow. Perfect for those that love their coffee strong. And finally, my commercial ice Americano. Why commercial? Because we added sugar syrup here. That's better with a little bit of sweetness. Mm. Strong Americano. If you have any questions at all about any of these recipes or how to use a mocha pot, do let me know. I am going to show you another video tutorial on how to use a mocha pot express versus the bricka. So stay tuned. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below. For those that have already subscribed to this channel, I hope that you have been trying my coffee recipes as well as the milk tea recipes. In the meantime, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.